Hey everybody, uh, this lesson is on one dollar. So we've been dealing with cents with uh, quarters, uh, dimes, nickels, and pennies. Those are cents. And so now we're going to talk about dollars. Okay, so our, our question here is uh, how do we show the value of one dollar using coins? Okay, and then uh, you've, you've probably seen a dollar in, in paper money too, a dollar bill. So here we're going to draw the coins and write the total value. So the first one says draw eight nickels and then count uh, to find the total value. Okay, so here's eight nickels. Here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then now we're going to count those to find the money. So here's five cents, ten cents, and then we're just adding five. So count by fives. Five, ten, fifteen. 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Okay, that's our 8 right there. Let's make sure. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 8 nickels represents 40 cents. Okay, now it's asking us to draw 8 dimes and then count to find those. All right, let's draw 8 dimes. So there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then now let's count uh, them with cents. Okay, so 10 cents, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. So the eight dimes is 80 cents, okay? Eight nickels is 40 cents, and eight dimes is 80 cents, okay? And remember, two nickels makes up one dime. So these two nickels would make this dime up. These two nickels would be the second dime. Let's see, these two uh, nickels would be the third, and these ones would be the fourth dime right there. So that you got that many more to make 80 cents anyways. So how many pennies does it has the same value as 80 cents? Okay, well, since one penny is um, uh, equal to one cent, then that means 80 pennies is going to be 80 cents. Okay, so a dollar, here's a dollar, you guys. A dollar is the same as a hundred cents. So I had to shrink up those pictures of the pennies, but there's a hundred pennies right there, and that represents a hundred cents, which is which is one dollar. And how we write that is right here. We put this dollar sign right here, and then we put a decimal right after the dollar sign to separate uh, the dollars from the cents. Okay, so this will represent cents, these numbers right here, and then uh, $1 equals 100 cents right there, okay? And this is our dollar sign. This is our cents sign, okay? All right, so draw the coins to show a dollar and then write the total value. Okay, so I'm interpreting it as drawing nickels to uh, make a dollar. So I'm just going to keep drawing nickels. So just draw circles with fives in it. So there's one nickel, five cents, two nickels. So we've got to get up to a dollar. So I'm just going to keep going. There's three nickels. There's four nickels. There's five nickels. Okay, I'm going to run out of room over here. So I'm going to just do another row right here. Six nickels is 30 cents. I'm just counting by fives. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So the next one's going to be seven nickels, which is 35 cents. Eight nickels, nine nickels, 10 nickels. Okay, now that's only 50 cents right there. So I got to do this again, another 50 cents to make it 100 cents. And then that way we'll have a dollar. So I'm going to shrink this picture up right up here. Okay, so there's, let's keep going. So 50 cents. So I'm just going to keep going. And 50 cents came from, here's five nickels, here's five more nickels, so there's 10 nickels right there. All right, let's keep going. We're going to draw some more nickels, so there's another one, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75. Okay, keep going. One more row, 80, 85, 90, 95. There's 100. There's 100 cents right there, so that represents a dollar. Okay, now remember this was 10 nickels, this was 10 nickels, so we need 20 nickels that gives us this dollar right here. All right, so now we're going to do it in quarters. Okay, well quarters you don't need as much room because it only takes uh, several less quarters than it does, or several less coins of quarters than it does nickels because they're they're worth more. So there's 25 cents. Remember two quarters is 50 cents, three quarters is 75 cents, and most of you probably know this, four quarters equals one dollar. Okay, so that's 100 cents or one dollar, okay? So four quarters is 100 cents or one dollar dime. Let's do dimes. So I'm going to count those by tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. One more. There's 100 cents right there. So there's our dollar. So in dimes, to make a dollar, we need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We need 10 
uh, dimes that makes up a dollar right there. Okay, all right, so here they want us to circle the coins that makes a dollar and cross out the coins we don't use. Okay, there's there's several ways to do this, you guys. I'm going to pick the quarters first wherever I can, like here's a quarter. So remember, four quarters represents a dollar. Okay, if we went back here, here's four quarters represents a dollar. So let's see if we can find four quarters here. So here's one quarter, here's two quarters, here's three quarters. I don't see any more quarters. So what else I can do is is, is um, two dimes and one nickel will represent a, a four quarter or another quarter also. So I go one quarter, two quarter, three quarter, and then um, I forgot which two dimes and a nickel. So probably these two dimes, I don't know, let's see what I did. Oops, I did these two dimes right here and this nickel right here. So here's 25 cents, 50 cents, 75 cents, okay, 85 cents, 95 cents, a dollar. Okay, so we didn't use these two these two dimes or these three dimes right here in this nickel right here okay now let's uh well let's we can do let's do it a different way here's a whole different way same coins are in the same order and look right in the middle this represents one dollar right here here's 50 cents right here the two quarters 50 cents let's do the dimes next 60 cents 70 cents 80 cents 90 cents and then two dime or two nickels makes another dime so there's a hundred cents or a dollar right there Okay, how much was left over? Well, that, that since they have the same amount right here, um, they're the same coins right there, it should be the same left over in each because we took out the dollar and whatever's left over. So let's go here. So here's 10 cents, 20 cents, 30 cents, 35 cents. So there's 35 cents left over when we took out the dollar. When we take out the dollar here, here's 25 cents, here's 35 cents. They are the same. All right, you guys, I hope that makes sense and take care.